Hello and welcome to the Woodwind Doubling channel here on YouTube. My name is Merlin Williams, your host and creator. Today I thought I'd take you to the loft at the Stratford Festival where we play a chorus line this year. It's a full orchestration. I'm playing reed four. I'm playing flute, clarinet, contrabass clarinet, bassoon, and baritone sax on the show. What I've done is to make a time-lapse video of the show that distills it down to about four minutes. And, I've, and since that's silent, I've done a voiceover just to describe some of what I'm doing in the loft, how we approach things there. It's fairly quick, uh, so it's general. It's not highly detailed about instrument setups and things like that. Uh, there's plenty of time to discuss things like that on the channel. Uh, you can always ask questions. Please put questions in the comments, and I'll get back to you either with a whole episode topic or maybe we'll do a little uh, viewers' comments and questions uh, type of episodes. But for now, here we go to the Stratford Festival uh, Orchestra Loft and enjoy it. Welcome to the Orchestra Loft at the Stratford Festival for the uh, 2016 production of A Chorus Line. I'm playing uh, baritone sax, clarinet, contrabass clarinet, and bassoon on the show, as well as uh, flute. You'll see a lot of time spent on baritone sax and clarinet and bassoon, the other ones a little less time. That's uh, Legere reads all around my setup. I'll be detailing those in some upcoming videos. Yes, we do actually have time to check our phones, but of course on the house Wi-Fi, not on the actual phone signal. Now, as you'll see that I've facilitated changes in this show by only using a strap on the baritone saxophone. The bassoon is on a leg rest. The contrabass clarinet just stands on its own peg. Flute and clarinet don't use any other uh, supports with those. Uh, flute and clarinet are just down immediately in front of me. You can't see the stands below uh, the shot there. Uh, the bassoon to the left might seem an odd choice to some people, but uh, given the baritone sax and contrabass clarinet and how unwieldy they are, it's easier to pick up the bassoon and transfer it over my body, as you can see there. It goes right onto the leg rest. Easy. Now, there's a fair amount of uh, tenor clef in this show, some high bassoon solos. You've really got to be able to play the instrument um, decently uh, to get uh, to get through this book. And the bassoon part is not double-lined. There is no alternate for it on the uh, rental book. You have to play bassoon. There is an alternate part for the contrabass clarinet, which is actually rather silly because it's written down to an A-flat concert, and uh, they've written that as a bassoon option with no correction to the range. It's a little bit... Uh, awkward if you decide to do it that way. The nice thing about the contrabass clarinet is it's a fairly inexpensive instrument to obtain. You get a plastic student model that does just fine for doing a show like this. Uh, the baritone sax I'm playing is a Jupiter 900 series pro model horn. It's the uh, best baritone I've ever owned so far and I've been through a lot of them. Vintage cons and through a lot of Selmers and Yamahas and everything else and I love that baritone. It's on a sax rack stand which is about the most solid stand you'll ever see for baritone or bass sax. A little more time to check in there. Uh, the clarinet I've got there is a Ridenauer. Uh, that's a uh, synthetic body, a hard rubber, and it's been fantastic in terms of playing around the world in varying climates and uh, humidity levels. Um, a mouthpiece on the baritone sax there is a Yanagasawa Metal Number no. 9. I keep a hard rubber 9 around as well. Now, there's a quick fade to black and back again. There's a long dialogue break in the show, so I spared you looking at the top of my head while I'm checking my phone into the long bassoon solo in one right now. A little bit of uh, rapid flute back to the bassoon again. And then there's the longer of the uh, contrabass clarinet sections. It's a long uh, bit of dialogue with underscoring, and it's just a contrabass clarinet and two clarinets there. Quick flute for the tap dance routine. And then uh, basically for the rest of the show, there's a bit of a uh, bit more bassoon, and then you finish out the show on uh, clarinet and baritone sax. It's a lot of fun to play this one and uh, a great orchestra to work with. You can see a couple of the other bodies around there. Just off to my right is uh, Tony Nichols, who's playing the Reed 3 book. And behind my head, uh, Kevin Barrett playing the guitar book, which they put back in for this production. And you can see uh, the drums just off to the right a little bit there as well. Now, obviously, there's uh, only a limited amount of time to talk over this and describe everything that I'm doing and all of the instruments that I'm using. So uh, please feel free to uh, put questions in the comments afterwards. Thank you. 